Can't trust him. I just can't trust him. You better watch him. The tension so damn hot up in this room. My body heat up when I'm closer. So boy, what you really trying to do? You know I love you. I'm forever close to you. Yeah, you fucked that bitch. Now you got us confused. You know I want you to. I'm jealous too. Boy, please don't break my heart forever close. I just can't trust. I just can't trust. But you still want the dick, though? Nah. I just can't trust. I just can't. I just can't. You got me tripped. Be having a bitch in her feelings, y'all. God damn. I'm telling you, this shit just powerful. Whew, Lord, have mercy. This shit is powerful, y'all. That's what I'm trying to tell you. But goddamn, it ain't too goddamn motherfucking powerful, motherfucker, for you motherfuckers to be tr- out here trying to try some shit. Now your motherfuckers talking about some trials. I don't even know where the fuck you motherfuckers come from. Where the fuck y'all niggas came from? Y'all here trying shit. See what I'm saying? Your motherfuckers is off the zans and off the lean and you're kicking it with the homies 24-7 and it's starting to look nice to you. And you're hanging out with the geeches too much. Motherfucker. And you're out there getting caught up. God damn it. I sent your motherfuckers out there getting them motherfuckers on Cicero. Got the whole Cicero out there acting a goddamn fool. What the fuck y'all get? Y'all wigs better than mine. Y'all wigs be better than that. God damn. Make a bitch don't even want to wear a wig no more. Where the fuck y'all get y'all shit from? And it's all the old niggas that was on the other block. You be like, damn, nigga. Damn, you been down low for so fucking long. You been wanting to be a cross dresser. That's what I'm saying. Your motherfuckers out there with a mental disorder and not understanding what the fuck is going on. And then you're thinking you like some shit. No, you don't like shit. You're going through some shit. Tell the motherfucking truth. God damn it. Your mama sitting up there keeping the motherfucking secrets in the goddamn family. Motherfucker, you got probably touched on when you was a child. And God damn it, yeah. And nine time out of ten, yeah, you're going to like some shit if you keep getting touched on. And everybody just, everybody ignoring the shit. That's what I'm saying about your little motherfucking family secrets. You motherfuckers need to get y'all shit together. Because you motherfuckers is acting a fool. Now you got motherfucking your own goddamn society. You got more rights than me. Goddamn. You trying to have kids and all. You trying to be the head of the goddamn matriarch. We already suffered with the white woman. Now you motherfuckers, and when they say the niggas on top, they gonna wanna mock God, so they put your black ass on top. But the only way you can be on top is to be a, gl- a gay motherfucker, so they can mock God. And you motherfuckers think it's just a fucking game, talking about some. Oh, I was born like this. No, the fuck you want, motherfucker? They putting shit in the goddamn food to make your ass motherfucking more feminine, motherfucker. We need to start suing these motherfuckers. Or maybe that's why they got the fucking food shortage going. On because they got damn it, they putting shit in the damn food, and the food that they giving out, god damn it, now is gonna make you more feminine. And so, yeah, they say you're born like that, yeah, yeah, because you are what you eat, motherfucker. That's what I mean by you motherfuckers not giving a fuck, you just let the shit just go on, and you won't give a fuck. You don't raise hell. You too busy talking shit about the next motherfucker. Or you too busy coming on my page trying to gossip about some dumb ass shit. No, no, no. Let's talk about how they putting more dumb ass shit in the fucking food to make these boys some more happy out here. These motherfuckers is happy as shit, huh? I think. Your motherfuckers know how to get together to do a whole lot of satanic shit, I think. 
See what I'm saying? When I sit up there and say it yesterday, how the motherfucking society have satanic motherfucker, cause these motherfuckers been exerted by food, by the environment, god damn it, by shit you watch on TV, they put put the images on TV so you can see the shit. Why you think they putting it in cartoons that? So god damn it, so your kids could get used to seeing it, so they could grow up saying that they was born like that. No, you weren't born like that. They forced the shit on you. Like they do every fucking thing else. They forced a the jab on you, don't they? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like they do everything else. So you gotta be able to discern what's real and what's fake. And motherfucker, who is a man who ain't? Cause these bitches titties big as hell. And that's a man under there. They even taking it so goddamn far. God damn, they motherfucking having motherfucking pregnant babies. God damn, we know damn well your ass at the end of the motherfucking day, y'all is a nigga. Your ass can't have no motherfucking kids. What the fuck is wrong with you? And then when I say that shit, you want to cry like a woman. See what I'm saying? What's going on? How you're mentally fucked up and mentally disordered and you're all over the fucking place because you're not balancing your shadow side and your dark side. Motherfucker, everybody got some feminine energy. Your niggas got feminine energy, but you be able to gotta balance it. But you can't balance it because your mamas ain't get they shit together because they on the fucking flow praying to fucking Jesus all fucking day and they ain't even paying attention to their motherfucking kids so they doing wicked shit and then the wicked kids, they ass up in the bathrooms, they juicing on each other, and they liking on each other, and they fucking little boys, and you ain't know what's going on, what's going on in a motherfucking church, and your son growing up a little funny, and you thinking that shit is okay, and you still got his ass up there singing, you sit your motherfucking ass down, that's why y'all ass had to be on quarantine, yep, y'all motherfuckers sitting down too, y'all motherfuckers gotta sit down too, cause your motherfuckers agreeing to shit. And then when you speak your motherfucking mind, you bunch of house Negroes, y'all say, well, everybody like that. It's okay. Motherfucker, no, it's not okay. They, you, 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 you getting, they getting forcing it on you. Motherfucker. Shit, so they can teach you that shit. So just like you ain't born no motherfucking killer, but they got, damn it, they want to make it seem like you a killer. They want to make it seem like you're broke. They want to make it seem like, goddamn, y'all here robbing motherfuckers. Damn, I ain't no motherfucking robbing motherfuckers, boy. What the fuck is wrong with you? But that's how they look at it. That's how they look at me. Why? Because the color of your motherfucking skin, motherfucker. We got to be able to downgrade you because you a motherfucking God. We can't tell you you a motherfucking God and that you don't need us. God damn it, because God damn. We got to make it seem like we better than you. Damn. These motherfuckers is out here manipulating the goddamn energy and you motherfuckers is letting their ass do the shit by ciphering the motherfucking energy. Goddamn, you motherfuckers sure know how to get together on pride, though. You know how that show go out there and pop some dick and some ass all on some other dick and some other ass. No bitches in the middle. A bunch of hard ass. You sure like to do that shit all fucking day. You could come together and do that shit all fucking day. Goddamn. Damn. It seemed like they ciphering the goddamn energy for Juneteenth. Goddamn it. I told you they got to find some type of way to attach they motherfucking self. Because they know that goddamn. The June 19th. I mean Juneteenth. Motherfucker. That's the damn day to free the goddamn slaves and shit. And these motherfuckers want to feel something. They want to attach they self to something. So what they do? They want to come bring they motherfucking pride. Shit, so everybody could come and everybody feel equal. Motherfucker, no, you sit your ass down and wait till next month. Wait till next month. Why you gotta do it around this time? Oh, cause you need some of that motherfucking black energy, cause everything came from us, motherfucker. You motherfuckers not understanding what the fuck the tea is. Cause you're too busy out here being fucking happy, popping dick. That's why we can't find no fucking dick. Damn. No wonder I've been single all this time. Because all you niggas is on the fucking down low at fucking pride. Time about something. I'm going to go see some bitches. Hell motherfucking all. Them bitches is swole and motherfucker. God damn it. They, look, they ain't looking at all for no dick. They want bitches. They looking for all bitches. The gay niggas is looking for the dick. 
and you niggas is on the down low and they'll bat a Geechies and y'all ass, damn. Damn, you been in jail for too fucking long and you're thinking we don't know that your ass was in jail doing some shit that your ass ain't got no business because you're a little fucking horny. Now you got to live with that shit for the rest of your motherfucking life. Motherfucker. Y'all ass out here forcing the shit on the motherfucking kids. Y'all motherfuckers come up with goddamn it. Uh, goddamn what the fuck all these fucking alphabets come from? L G B T Q R S P. I don't even fucking know my alphabets no fucking more. You're taking every fucking thing. And then when somebody say something to your ass, then damn, you want to sue somebody or kill somebody or nail somebody to the goddamn cross for speaking they fucking mind. Y'all locking kids up nowadays in classrooms or they getting, going, getting in trouble for saying the word gay or anything. You see what I'm saying? How these motherfuckers is getting rights? And damn, we can't get no rights to shit? This our goddamn land. This our goddamn land. You been giving rights to the goddamn immigrants, promising them votes every time they fucking come over and fucking here. Why the fuck you ain't giving us no fucking rights? You been taking our shit and giving it to them just to fill they fucking houses up so we could be fucking homeless and motherfucking in poverty and low income, goddamn it. But they could be in the fucking big ass houses, but we can't go to their schools so they motherfucking put us in fucking trains. They made us make it easy. So they put us in a little community. To make it fucking easy. So we can't go over there to their school. We go to this school. So they can monitor your motherfucking black ass. That's what the fuck they do. You can't go over there. You can't go to that grocery store. Mm -mm, you can't go over there. You stay your ass right here. We're going to monitor your ass. And that's how they monitor you. And they put their slave catchers. They got the police slave catching motherfuckers all up and down the street. You go to the fucking hood, you catch a police on every fucking corner. That's why I don't fucking see how the fuck motherfuckers is getting away with all this fucking murder. That's how you know the motherfucking police is setting these motherfuckers up. And goddammit, they saying it's gang related. Because why? Why? Because when it's gang motherfucking related, goddammit, case closed. They ain't got to fucking investigate. So why you think they push all the rappers to tell you motherfuckers to say you in a fucking gang? God damn it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And God damn it, that's going to influence the masses, influence these other kids. Which, like, for example, they want to influence my sons to be in a fucking gang. So my sons can walk around and be gang bangers. And God damn it, that's how you keep the cycle going. That's what they want to do. Kill all the motherfucking kids. We need your meddling in any fucking way. And goddamn it, these kids smart as shit. So they definitely wanted to put an attack on the kids. They don't give a fuck about your dumb ass because they put the pills out here for your slow ass. And your ass ain't doing shit. They know you're lazy as shit. They know, goddamn it, and your mama ain't leave you a million dollars. So they know you ain't doing shit with your life. You ain't doing shit but gossiping on Bad Girls Club. Doing what the fuck. You're not on shit. So, y'all motherfuckers need to know what the fuck the T is. Because these motherfuckers is out here gaining fucking rights to shit. And God damn it, and we ain't had no rights to shit. So, you mean to tell me somebody that wasn't over here before could be a fucking immigrant and they could get a fucking stove and every fucking thing, but we can't? Why? Because that's our stove. That's our stuff. They just promised them land so we won't get it. Of course we can't get it now because that's they land now. So that's why they promised them land. That's how they been doing us all along. So you wonder why we sitting up here homeless and they could try to sit up here and talk shit about you all day. They can't say shit. They can't say shit. They can't say shit. They made it hard for you. They, they, they hid the resources from your motherfucking ass on purpose because your ass motherfucking, you show your motherfucker like you some one time, you know how to do every fucking thing. You're too fucking powerful. You're too fucking powerful. I hold the resources from your black ass too. I hold it from your ass too. God damn it, you ain't finna be ahead of me. Ain't that's what the fuck y'all niggas be doing, snaked out ass shit? Y'all be doing damn. A bitch ask your ass, is your job fucking hiring? You don't even fucking tell me. You don't even fucking tell, man. God damn. You know your job hiring. You told all these other motherfucking bitches that you don't even fucking know. But damn, you ain't tell, man. 
Girl, that's what I'm saying. You see how these hoes be? You watch out for these bitches. You watch out for these hoes. These motherfuckers is all in their motherfucking feelings about dumb ass shit. Y'all motherfucking pushing all this shit on these motherfucking kids. What the fuck is going on with y'all? Y'all in schools now. Y'all writing books now. Y'all coming to libraries and shit, read to the motherfucking kids. And now your motherfuckers is out here on a big ass motherfucking parade. Ciphering fucking energy and shit. I don't trust them, y'all. I don't trust them. I don't fucking trust it. I feel like they ciphering energy, goddammit, because goddamn, they always want to fucking fit in, attach themselves. So, hmm, what's a good way to attach themselves? And they want to mock God. So, huh, let's sit up here and say the Rainbow Kids. Goddamn it, we gonna name the Rainbow Kids gay. Nah, motherfucker, because they know the Rainbow Kids, we the chosen ones, because it represents our motherfucking chakras, our colors. Goddamn it, and these motherfuckers always wanna turn some shit the opposite. Invert, invert. Well, we was talking about Satan, Satanism, motherfucker. Invert. They always wanna fucking invert some motherfucking shit and make it the fucking opposite. Goddamn it, what's the opposite of live? Evil, motherfuckers. So they always want to make some shit the fucking opposite and fucking evil, motherfucker, like they fucking did it. We supposed to be representing the light of God, and these motherfuckers put all these distractions down here, goddammit, and, and, and ciphering our fucking energy, energy without us even fucking knowing, goddammit, on all these different little holidays, all this shit that be fucking going on, so we could ignore the important. The important, we just had a whole fucking full moon, a strawberry fucking moon, goddammit, yesterday. God damn it, and a powerful manifestation to manifest luck and god damn it, love and energy and all this shit. And, and we don't even know shit like that because these motherfuckers want to put up pride in our face. How about put up the real deal that's going to help us change our fucking life? That's what I'm saying. These motherfuckers don't put up shit that fucking benefits you. They want to fucking feed your brain with a whole bunch of dumb ass shit that don't fucking help your fucking brain. And you be sitting up here asking for fucking help. God damn it. And don't nobody want to fucking help you. Everybody acting and fucking pretending. That's what I'm fucking saying. If you just be fucking honest, damn we could get some fucking way in life, but damn, if you motherfuckers is walking around with a fucking mask on all fucking day, we ain't gonna get no fucking way. And when I mean by a fucking mask, your motherfuckers ain't grow up like that. Now your motherfuckers is happy as fuck, popping ass all down the fucking street, and it's kids that sad. Your motherfuckers ain't gotta, we, we get it. We fucking get it. You love some dick in your ass. We get it. Why do we got to broadcast it though? Next thing you know, when the kids start asking, what is that? We got to say, oh, that's a dick in the ass day. Because that's what the fuck I see when I go to fucking Pratt. It be just dick and ass and balls every fucking way. Dick and ass day. You do what the fuck you want. You could do a whole lot of Satan shit. You motherfuckers remind me of motherfucking the first Satan of motherfucking church. You know how Satan, the, the first church was motherfucking Satan of church. Satan's church. You motherfuckers doing a whole lot of satanic ass shit. You see what the fuck is going on around here? I told you motherfuckers to be watching out about this motherfucking portal. 666 was this year. All these demons that sad. It's a whole lot of coronavirus going on. You shouldn't want no dick in your ass this time. You should be trying to get your life together and worry about how the fuck to manage your shadow side and your light side and your feminine energy and your man and your masculine energy to balance it out. Why the fuck do you like niggas? Is it because somebody touched you? Because you know your mamas ain't going to say shit. Nine times out of ten, these motherfuckers don't give a fuck. And then they know the motherfucking ain't said shit. Your uncle's touching on you, motherfucker. And these motherfuckers still got these motherfuckers running around. And then they want to fucking judge you and wonder why the fuck you like dick in your ass. Well, you like dick in your ass because your brother over here touching on your child. 
And you ain't saying shit because that's your fucking brother. You got me fucked up. And your child growing up like that, mentally fucked up, because guess what? You're teaching them not to say shit. You're teaching them not to speak up for themselves. And now they mentally going through some shit because your ass fucked up in the head. You see how it's important not to sit up here and rub all that shit off on your motherfucking kids? Another cycle. These motherfuckers is crazy. And then now they grow up with a mental disorder. And then when you tell them some shit, they start fucking crying. Like I said, some shit wrong. I'm just telling you the fucking truth. It's a fucking mental disorder. I would be pissed too. Because I want to be a fucking giraffe. I'm pissed. I want to go my ass at the so I can go with my long ass neck so I can be above all you bitches so I can see what the fuck y'all be doing. I'm going to be fucking nosy in your window, bitch. That's why I want to be a fucking giraffe. I need to go see what the fuck is going on in the streets. And I need a close view, bitch. Motherfucker, I need to see the shit y'all can't see, bitch. I want to be a fucking giraffe. But God damn it, do you see me getting mad at God asking motherfuckers to put up fucking bathrooms and make me a fucking sign and motherfucker and make motherfuckers call me a fucking giraffe because I'm going to be a fucking giraffe and you're going to fucking love me and my friend is going to be a fucking panda and God damn it, my son, he's going to be a fucking turtle and God damn it, we all going to be up in here and we're going to fucking rule the fucking world. Fuck. And you ain't gonna say shit. Bitch. Shit. Do you see motherfuckers getting mad? Hell fucking all. So what the fuck is wrong with y'all sitting up here? Now if you don't like dick in the ass, at least look like a nigga so I could turn your ass out, nigga. You act like it's some shit wrong with shit here. Shit. Shit. You saying shit. You should see some of my goddamn friends. Cause my, I used to have a crush on my friend. I still do now. Goddamn. He fine as shit. But goddamn, he don't want me. And he would let me know, bitch. I don't want you. I want what you want. But you know what? His ass ain't dressing up like no bitch. And he ain't trying to influence my motherfucking sons. My sons been around him all his motherfucking life. And my sons don't even fucking know. Why? Because he ain't over there with his boyfriend even doing no shit like that. He's not trying to influence motherfuckers on shit. That's what I'm saying. You motherfuckers make it bad for motherfuckers that actually is like that. And don't even get down like that. That's actually a real man. But goddamn, fan this shit and be turning these niggas out. I be damn friend. My friend, fan, motherfucker. And hell no, you can't have them, bitch. You be turning these motherfucking niggas out. That's what I'm saying. So that's what I'm saying. And not out here trying to even, you feel me? Don't even gotta brag. Boss, bitch. Fuck. You motherfuckers want to convince some shit that you're not. Be your fucking self. That's where you get respect at. We don't motherfucking respect some shit that you're trying to be somebody else. You motherfucker, just be yourself. Be Clifford, bitch. What? Clifford is a real nigga, bitch. And a real bitch. I respect motherfucking Clifford, bitch. Cause he a whole motherfucking nigga and a bitch at the same time. Ooh, I love Clifford. Motherfucker. And, and be letting a bitch know what. I will slap your ass, bitch. Call you a bitch. Bitch. Ooh, I love me some motherfucking Clifford. Goddamn. Y'all know who Clifford is out P Valley. Ooh, I love me some goddamn Clifford, y'all. I'm so, that's a real nigga and a bitch. Because I was going to say a real nigga, that's a real nigga. But damn, he's my real bitch too. So he a real nigga and a bitch. Bitch. 
But do you see a motherfucker his ass out there trying to influence motherfuckers? Damn. That's what I'm saying. You motherfuckers be out here trying to have these motherfucking books. I had a seen a book in the library the other day. Goddamn, you motherfuckers got your own section now. And then you go through the book, y'all kissing this shit. Why? Why do y'all have to be, like, that's what I'm saying. But that's what I'm saying. This is how they get the kids, y'all. They got to show them fucking images, y'all, to get them used to seeing it. Mad control, because when Satan attacks, he's coming after your fucking man. And he's going to start as a fucking child. You not waking up talking about dick in the ass all day. So why the fuck do you feel like it's okay for the school to talk about dick in the ass all day? And they's talking about it. They got their own sex class now. Teaching it to your youth. And you motherfuckers think it's okay. If you not talking about it at home every day. And these kids wake up every day and they just want to play. And do some other shit and play. Damn. Let these kids be kids. But what's going on is your motherfuckers is getting them used to programs. And god damn it. They not using their own free will and their own imagination. And they, that's what's going to lead them to their fucking destiny. And that's what's going to lead them to the promised land. And see, y'all is training them to god damn it. Let the motherfucking system raise them. So now they got filling their fucking head with a whole bunch of fucking garbage when they can fill their head with up a whole bunch of fucking knowledge and so they can learn how to defeat the fucking devil. They can't run from it. They, it's going it's to be out here so you teach them to be aware of the fucking devil. You teach them. Can't nobody else do it but you. Y'all depending on the school to do it. No, you need to be at home teaching them what the fuck is going on because they can't comprehend what the fuck the teacher said. They don't even comprehend what the fuck you said because that's your child. But what's going on is your motherfuckers is not paying attention to your motherfucking kids. They come home and you're not going over with shit with them. You're not going over their fucking problems. And god damn it, you ain't going to be perfect every fucking day. But at least talk to them. So god damn it, when something happens, god damn it, they can feel comfortable enough to talk to you. Put them in something so they can be able to protect themselves without a gun. Especially if you got little boys and even if you got little girls, god damn it, they snatching up little kids any fucking way and they taking their ass to fucking Atlanta and god damn it, they say you got 24 fucking hours. You watch your motherfucking kids and you wonder why they going in a motherfucking school, shooting up the motherfucking school. These motherfuckers is paid. And some of these motherfuckers, you say that, yeah, he turned the gun on himself. Yeah, that's because that's one of the motherfuckers that's a hybrid. He ain't got no soul. And he was he was set to be on a mission. Some of these motherfuckers is not real human beings. They go in there on a straight mission. So, and they mad. They not even fucking human. They is on a fucking mission. And they mission to just complete, kill, and God damn it, motherfucker. And that's the mission complete. God damn it. And you motherfuckers is getting too old to not understand the devil's schemes and the devil tactics. How many more babies we gonna lose in these school shootings and how many more motherfuckers we gonna lose our black men to with this all this little pride shit? When you not even naturally like that. You have been taught like this all your fucking life from the food you eat, from the shit you watch on TV. So, of course, you're going to be naturally like that. And, of course, God damn it, even from shit you have to deal with from your fucking family members and all your fucking family secrets. So, God damn it, you're mentally fucked up in the fucking head. And, God damn it, nobody wants to talk about it. Nobody wants to fucking talk about it. And God damn it. And you motherfuckers is walking around convincing other little kids to be depressed just like you. It is not okay to rub your negative ass energy on somebody else's child. And you all are forcing the shit. You motherfuckers need y'all ass beat. A good ass whoop. A good ass whooping because your mamas ain't in the house loving they fucking kids. That's what I'm saying. That's what's going on. That's what's going on. 
These motherfuckers need love. That's why they wanted to be happy. Pride, happy pride. Yeah, because everybody needs some fucking love right now. Because your motherfuckers is losing yourself and losing your fucking mind. And your motherfuckers is, goddamn, you got a mental disorder. And goddamn it, now you're broadcasting the shit. And the shit is just getting out of hand. Damn. I never seen no shit like that. God damn, a whole bunch of, it's just a whole lot of shit going on. And y'all motherfuckers is missing out on what the fuck is really the fucking tea is. Be careful. You around all this motherfucking energy that's out here. Yeah, you better go outside and have fun. But right now, your black ass damn near fucking target every fucking way you go. You motherfuckers just need to stay y'all ass the fuck in the house. Because you motherfuckers just don't fucking get it. Save your energy for your own self. On your own day. God damn. How about we just start, stop, stop motherfucking, start doing our own holidays that we already got. Shit, we already got the fucking Kimmy calendar, and we over here following all these pagan holidays and shit, and goddammit, we ain't even willing to unlearn what the fuck we learned because we scared to go into our motherfucking roots. Why? Because it hurt too bad when we start remembering where the fuck we come from. So a lot of you motherfuckers run from where the fuck you come from because it hurt too bad. Your soul get the remembering. You don't want to remember that crap. You don't want to remember that pain that you went through. But, oh, motherfucker, what a great time to be alive. Motherfucker. These motherfuckers is out here just ciphering shit, y'all. So y'all motherfuckers better be careful. And protect your motherfucking kids. From all this bullshit that's going on out here. God damn. You motherfuckers should be ashamed of y'all motherfucking self. I know you wasn't thinking that. Shit, they thought I wasn't going to say something to their motherfucking ass. Because god damn, they always want to sue a motherfucker every fucking chance you get. Because a motherfucker said something to y'all ass. No, nah, I'm going to say something. Because you motherfuckers getting out of hand. God damn. I know you wasn't thinking that. When you let yourself go, how you get like that? These motherfuckers be letting they self go, and it's sad. It's sad, because you're letting life defeat you when you're down here to have problems. You're down here to have problems. I told you, it's like Grand Theft Auto. God damn it, you had your missions, and you complete your missions. God damn it, every day ain't gonna be easy. Every day ain't the motherfucking same. But God damn it, you gotta push through that shit. But God damn it, but you got to pay attention to the distractions that's going on around you. Because these motherfuckers is trying to drag you to hell with them. They want to attach themselves. So yeah, get your energy back. Getting your ass attached to that shit. So now, God damn it, now you cut off from your ancestors. And now God ain't, you know what I'm saying? It's just, now you doing shit and going against the fucking grain. You going against nature, because nature naturally, you know what I'm saying? You're humping on a woman, you feel what I'm saying? But God damn. Just like, for example, by nature, you don't see a deer over there humping on a lion. Or, God damn it. Shit, but I can't use that as an example, huh? Because that's two different motherfuckers. But I'm just saying, y'all. By motherfucking nature, goddamn, they humping on each other, goddamn shit. But we supposed to be man, woman, mother, motherfucking, I mean, motherfucking son, daughter. 
motherfucker. We bring a balance and structure and order to each other. That's the whole purpose of us balance. We bring we bring a balance to each other. We complete each other. We make each other whole. That's the whole purpose of life. God damn it, you find out a way how you can make yourself whole. And then once you become yourself whole, then you be, God damn it, you let the universe navigate you. And you trust the universe. You depend on the universe. You depend on your intuition. But God damn it, when you fill your mind up with all this satanic, toxic ass shit, God damn it, and you out here doing toxic shit because now you're developing other toxic energy inside your body. And then they taking your fucking energy. God damn it, it's fucking your head up. It's real. So sometimes you gotta be able to be motherfucking, you gotta be able to balance. And it's okay. Keep fighting until you get your shit right. You ain't gonna be fucking perfect. Ain't nobody fucking perfect. So, motherfucker, as long as God know that you got your true intentions, motherfucker, you gonna always win and God gonna always protect you. That's why I say it boldly because I know because I'm a fucking witness of the shit. That's why I say God be having me go through shit, God damn it, just so I could be a witness, God damn it, so I, I guess shit. So if people go through the shit, shit, I could be a good motherfucker to, that shit, to talk to shit because shit, I went through the shit. So I understand. Shit, I won't be able to be talking to y'all if I didn't fucking know. God damn. But God damn, you think God gonna bless some mess? God don't bless no mess. You think God gonna bless me if I'm over this on this motherfucker being messy? I don't be fucking messy. I'm going against these motherfucking demonic forces. See, God wants you to know your power. Take your fucking power back from these motherfuckers. See, y'all fucking doing y'all energy. Y'all transmuting y'all energy in different ways. You supposed to be turned up on these motherfuckers that's out here putting all this shit out here to distract your motherfucking ass. Now they out here to get to attack your child. And y'all gonna let them take them. You're losing them out there on the streets because they killing each other. Because they, God damn it, they put distractions out here for them to kill each other. You're losing them, God damn it, because you fucking mentally fucked up in the head. So you're rubbing energy off on your kids because, God damn it, you're stressed out about going to work. You're stressed out about bills. You're stressed out about gut motherfucking money because, God damn it, you're never going to be rich because these motherfuckers ain't never going to pay us. That's why I tell your motherfuckers now, I don't give a fuck about none of they shit. When have you ever seen them pay a black motherfucker anything? So what the fuck make you think that I'm going to give a fuck about some material shit or whatever the fuck they got going on down here? My motherfucking home is in fucking heaven where the fuck I belong. God damn it, I told y'all I'm the security guard of the fucking heavy gates, motherfucker. I be doing my shit up there. I barely be wanting to come back down here. You come back down here with a fuck a bunch of devils because these motherfuckers love being on fucking demon time and they didn't forget about God. And these motherfuckers got to get reminded who the fuck they is all the time because they don't know that they the children of God, but God damn it, because they been on demon time. Your motherfucker been evil all your motherfucking life and you don't know how it is to fucking change your fucking life. Why? Because they started since you was a fucking child and they've been programming your mind since you was a fucking child and goddammit, they've been putting pictures in your head since you was a fucking child so goddammit, you could turn out to be that fucking baby that they want you to be. You go against the grain by motherfucking playing chess mate with these motherfuckers. I ain't evil, bitch. But you gonna respect me, motherfucker. I ain't no killer, hoe. But you ain't gonna kill me, bitch. Motherfucker. Who the fuck these motherfuckers think they is? That's what I'm saying. And you motherfuckers, that's what I'm saying. That's what I'm saying. 
you could come together to do a whole bunch of evil ass, dumb ass shit, but y'all motherfuckers don't like to come together to do some real positive ass shit to elevate your fucking brain. You see how Satan use your motherfuckers ass? You even fucking do rituals when you be at the fucking at church and shit. They got the fucking altar shit. You know how you sing, motherfucker? You got your singers up there? Yeah, they getting the motherfucking manifesting that energy in the air. God damn it, getting ready for that word. God damn it, so it can feed whatever the fuck you it manifested in your fucking soul so goddamn it it could fucking trigger something and you could fucking act demonic and you can act all wild and crazy yeah i could used to do it too thinking you're fucking shouting no you're fucking possessed by some shit you need to stop You motherfuckers is going crazy off fucking emotions and shit. And it's a whole bunch of fine ass niggas all in the fucking choir. But damn, he can't be my nigga because all of them gay. Why all of them gay? Because his daddy a fucking pastor. And his daddy been fucking him and the other little boy and the other little boy and been fucking the other little boy. And ain't nobody said nothing. This been going on for years. And you Christian folks could say something about me on here talking shit about you old bitches. But you motherfuckers ain't said shit about your motherfucking pastor. And because he old as shit with a little ass dick and he on his deathbed. Now you feel bad for him. No, I'm finna go kick him in his dick since he wanna use his dick and traumatize these motherfucking kids and got these kids off balance cause goddamn it, they fighting their man side with their feminine side cause goddamn it, they been getting dicked up in the ass all their fucking life by your perverted motherfucking ass and goddamn it, but they really wanna be with a woman. So they mentally off balance cause what the fuck you did to them. And it eat them fucking up, motherfucker, because you motherfuckers don't want to talk about it. So you got these kids out here fucking traumatized and ain't nobody said shit. So you want to sit up there and say, I, I love him gay. Oh, it's the reason why he gay. Hey, you ain't got no reason to fucking judge. I don't fucking like it neither. But God damn it, it's a fucking reason though. It's a reason. So who the fuck you think you is to judge? It's a fucking reason. It should teach you to protect your fucking kids and take up for your fucking kids when they ass going through some mentally fucked up issues in the fucking family. But your motherfuckers don't say nothing. Your motherfuckers keep your motherfucking mouth closed. And now these kids is traumatized. And they thinking they been born gay. All along. Hell no. Nah, they just been getting raped. Motherfuckers since they been little. Since they been about five years old. And you motherfuckers ain't said shit. Ain't talked about it. And when you bring it up. Your motherfuckers is guilty. And you get pissed. When God sent his wrath down here, you motherfuckers gonna reap what you sow too. So you can't judge a motherfucker because they out there being happy. No, I'm not judging you because you want to be happy and what the fuck you went through. I am judging you, motherfucker, for pressuring these kids to be like you. Instead of telling them to do the right thing, I don't give a fuck if they said that they like little boys. You tell them no. You make sure you don't be kissing no little guys in front of them. You make sure you be an example in front of them. Because when they see you, they see a fucking man. So why the fuck would you want to traumatize another child like how your ass got traumatized when you was fucking little? But you don't give a fuck, motherfucker, long as you get some dick in your fucking ass and you get your fucking way with your own laws and your own motherfucking yeah, 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 shit. You motherfuckers get on my motherfucking nerves. Because you get your force and shit. Because you been traumatized. It's not okay. Now, motherfucker, let me tell you something. I ain't going to say fucking sorry neither. Because then I get on this motherfucker getting on everybody else. Talking about how women we need to sit in the house with our fucking kids. So you motherfuckers ain't, don't get no special treatment. I know you want your own special community and all. But your motherfuckers don't get no special treatment from me. Motherfucker, when I see you, I'm going to call you by your motherfucking name your mama gave you. 
I don't give a fuck what you say you wanna be. What's on your motherfucking birth certificate, motherfucker? Who the fuck you think you is that you feel like I'ma just change myself just like I get on the hose with the plastic surgery? Bitches, you can't come to my party because it's a phone for event. Bitch, you can't come. So I'ma get on your motherfucking ass. Who the fuck y'all think y'all is to change yourself? To confuse somebody. And then you think it's cute in these little clubs trying to motherfucking hit a nigga. Because goddamn it, you want to see if you can pull a nigga. Any nigga going to love a bitch with a motherfucking some ass they see. Niggas dick be on hard. They don't give a fuck who they fuck. But you is a sick motherfucker if you're sitting up here trying to manipulate men, motherfucker, because you traumatized and you want a nigga to like you. So you want to trick a nigga and get him home to suck his dick. And goddamn it, he got suck, he got his dick sucked by a tranny and he ain't even fucking know. And goddamn it, now you want to expose him and over some shit he didn't even fucking know. So now you got him all mixed up in his feelings because, yeah, he do like you because he thought you was a bitch. No, motherfucker. He thought he liked it the fake character that your ass was. That's not who you are. That's why I say it's a fucking mental disorder, and that's the fucking truth. If you can look it up on motherfucking line on Google, a crossdresser, motherfucker, is part of a mental disorder. So if you learn what the fuck is going on with your fucking brain, you can defeat the fucking devil. But see how they hold the resources from you and put it all in your fucking face so it can make it seem like you was born like that when you really not. Let you get a bitch. You think you want. No, you just ain't had no bitch that, that, that you like. That's all. You ain't had no attention. That, that attention you like. That's all. Every nigga wants some pussy. Every nigga wants some pussy. Yeah, you got me fucked up. You want some pussy. You just ain't getting that bitch from your life that you like. And that's fine. But that ain't even the case, though. And that's the that's part of it. But that ain't even the case. That's because your ass got touched on and your families ain't saying shit. It's fucking sad. But guess what? Don't rub that motherfucking negative ass energy on these other kids by starting to create books and got it in cartoons and shit. Now you motherfuckers is getting out of hand and you got laws and gay days and shit on school, at schools and shit and transgender hour and the libraries and shit. You motherfuckers is taking over the fucking map. Now you're leaving no room for us because that's what the fuck you want. You want to be the, the motherfucking black woman God. That's what they say. And they wanted to make it a trans man, black man. So that's the only time we could be ahead is when we fucking gay. Because they want us to be opposite, invert, be Satanism of God. Yeah, they want us to be opposite of God. They want us to be a fucking devil. And they need to bring that devil energy in. So guess what? They use Lil Nas X to bring in that devil energy. So now his gay nasty ass dancing all on the fucking devil, goddamn it, for a bag, goddamn it, and traumatize his goddamn fucking career, goddamn it, just goddamn it to be he's good for the rest of his life. They paid him for good. But guess what? At what cost though? Of leaving leading your motherfucking next generation to a burning house. Cause why would you do that? You see how clever the devil is getting? These, you ain't got to be scared with a man with horns no more. You, you got to watch these motherfuckers that's in your face. It's too much shit going on. And these motherfuckers is getting exposed. You trios, you bios, and you motherfucking UFOs, all you motherfucking alphabets. I don't even fucking know if your motherfucker be making up your own shit. I don't even fucking know. All you motherfuckers is getting exposed. For putting all this motherfucking shit on these motherfucking kids. How about get y'all ass in y'all motherfucking house on fucking quarantine and get y'all shit together? 
because your motherfuckers is toxic and your motherfuckers ain't dealing with your family issues. Get your ass in the house and get your shit together and stop putting y'all bullshit on these motherfucking kids. Yeah, motherfucker, I expose the government. I expose everybody else. You bitches, I'm going to say some shit to y'all. Because every time somebody say some shit to y'all, you feel like can't nobody say shit to y'all. Y'all feel like can't nobody say nothing to y'all. I'm going to say something to y'all. I'm going to say something, bitch. I'm going to say something, bitch. I'm going to say something, bitch. God damn. You bitches act like can't nobody say shit. I'm going to say something, bitch. You motherfuckers is out here trying to rat these bitches wave. No, go be who the fuck you are. That's not who you are. That's who you pretend to be. Just like if I, I'm going to come up on this motherfucker and I'm going to be a fucking giraffe. Motherfucker. But that's going to be who I pretend to be, right? Fuck. I ain't got to sit up here and force that shit on my motherfucking kids or force that shit on somebody else. Somewhere down the line, I done went fucking crazy. Some shit done fucking happened. God damn. And now I'm losing my motherfucking mind. Damn. I ain't, I ain't, you ain't got to act like that. You motherfuckers. Y'all just taking fucking over. I never seen no shit like this a day in my life. God damn it. To the point where motherfuckers got to go to school for the shit. It's a requirement and shit. What the fuck is going on? And you parents is letting the shit happen. Because you're scared to say something to these motherfuckers. It's not okay. You go your ass in the fucking house and deal with your motherfucking mental issues that your ass got. That your ass don't want to fucking talk about. Until that fucking happen, then y'all can make some fucking laws. Then y'all can say, okay, some shit. Until they stop putting shit in the fucking food to make your mother motherfuckers more feminine, then you can sit up there and say you was born like that. But they telling you they putting shit in the food, and you motherfuckers don't give a fuck. See how the devil do? They come to deceive you. They put a whole lot of lies out here and a whole lot of truth out here, and you got to be able to discern but you're discerned by seeing what's going on, y'all. Open your motherfucking eyes and pay attention. It wasn't no requirement when you was little. So why change now? Why is going on now? What's going on? Why is it? A, what's going on? What y'all know that I don't know? Show sure up. Show sure up. Show sure up. They coming in the food. They coming in the motherfucking food. Now these motherfuckers, it don't matter what you eat no more. They putting more shit to make you act more feminine. They putting more shit in the food to make you act more fucking feminine. You're not born like that. So you need to motherfucking be able to balance yourself. And see what the fuck is going on with this fucking mental disorder. And stop putting this shit on motherfucking the other next generation. It's getting out of hand. It's getting out of fucking hand. Motherfucker. Y'all subscribe to the motherfucking Queen Marie Show, y'all. Holla.